up, 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 up. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you read the title correctly, assuming it's correct. Uh, I won't just be doing an art stream. I'll be playing a video game today. I'll be playing Pass Part 2, which still counts as an art stream, I want to say. So uh, we'll get started in a little bit. I'm going to give it just a couple more seconds. Ish. <laughs> I'll wait till the two minute mark, basically. I want to try and make good practice of doing that. So at the two minute mark, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. It's my first time really gaming. Let me make sure everything's set up. What? <laughs> uh, I guess because I clicked out of the game, it's not there. But let me go ahead and start up. Pass part two. Oh, it's loud. Actually, let me make sure that the sound is actually playing. It's very loud in my ear, so let me let me make some adjustments real quick. What? Okay. Okay. Pa pa pa! You can still hear me. Okay. Let me just lower the volume. On past part two, it was kind of loud. It's just a teensy bit loud. Sound settings. No, no. Uh, but yeah, if you can, uh, if you see the title, I will be asking for a little bit of audience participation with this. Uh, though I do have some ideas if people are feeling shy today. There you go, volume mixer. Lower that just a smidge. Okay, okay. Now let me make sure that you get, you all can hear. My audio. How about a bear dressed like a jar of peanut butter? Oh, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I'm just adjusting my sound because it's just really loud in my ears. And also, I don't know if you guys can hear the uh, the game. He's looking. He's looking at a peanut. Oh no. <laughs> Audio output. Let's do that. Game music. Okay. He's like, where the fuck does the butter come? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, so can y'all hear the music from the game? Oh, I clicked away. There we go. Because the bars are moving on my end. Yeah? Alright, cool. Let me lower just a smidge. Da da da. It still looks a little loud, so I'm just gonna lower it a little bit more. Okay, there. Okay. Without further ado. Further ado. Yeah, it's a piano. It's a piano. So, uh, full disclosure, I have played this game before, but for this stream, let's go ahead and start a new career. Yeah, delete it all. Delete it all. I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen this game streamed or even played it yourselves, but basically it's an art game. Uh, I'm a starving artist. <laughs> in game, in game, in Minecraft, in Minecraft. Yeah, let's start painting. Uh, the only thing is that like the the options for like what you can do are a little limited. So for now, I'm like limited to this, uh, you know, just this brush. Which doesn't allow for a lot of textures. I can adjust the size, like so. Oh no, you know what? I can flip it. There we go. Let's do a really quick one. Let's do Beans the Bear's recommendation of a jo uh, what is it? A bear dressed as peanut butter. Dressed like a jar of peanut butter. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, as you can see, I just have like one option for a brush. But you know what? It's gonna carry us. Yeah, this is a game. Hi, really bad KDR. Yeah, this is a it's an art game, I guess. Uh, called Past Part Two. You are a starving artist, and you have to make art for your patrons. But for now, I'm just like in an alleyway, so I just have to rely on the goodness of passersby. Hello, hello. I'm really glad you could tune in. Right now, the first thing I'm gonna draw is um. <laughs> is Beans the Bear's uh, request, which is a bear dressed as a jar of peanut butter. There we go, he's gonna be a little square. There are like kind of mechanics to this game as I've like seen people like played in the past like notice. Like there's certain colors that like will just never get you to, to sell. Oh no, the peanut butter looks suspiciously like the fur, so what if I do this? Now it looks like a jar of honey, but, <laughs> but we'll do our best. And a little bit of brown. What what's the colors on the um that one peanut butter jiffy? Is it like green? Green, red, and blue? Or how about I'll just put Biffy? <laughs> Biff. There we go. Click the register to keep track of your cash flow. Bill's inbound already! I just started! I really am a starting artist. Red, blue, and green, and white text source. I'm in the kitchen eating it! No. <laughs> so much peanut butter. Okay, so red. Green. A oh, red, blue, and green. Red, blue, and green. Another thing with this game is that there's no erase. Or rather, you just have to use, like, the... the ah, my pills! Okay. You just have to color over it. It's moving too fast, it's moving too fast. Jiffy. I can use my- oh, I'm using a pen though, so I can't- Okay, they're looking at a peanut. I wish there was like a fill tool. And then I have to like fill this manually. But I know that soon, soon I will be able to have like more tools, but I gotta work my way up to it. There we go. Does that look like a peanut? <laughs> Let's give him some legs. Make him the, the guy uh, on the... You know that, that one mascot? There we go. Source of the... It's more legally distinct, totally. Mr. Peanut Butter Man! <laughs> there you go. So let's do dot 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 where peanut butter bear over here is like where does the butter come from? All right, my first masterpiece a little scuff, but let's see how the people like it Existential dread There we go. All right next masterpiece. Uh, I'm just gonna do a default bear. We need something quick to get those bills. And then I'll, I'll take some more requests from the audience. A little poiple. Oh, okay, okay. Fresh like a morning baguette. Let's see what other people say. Or unless you can... Can you give me more money? Can you give me more? Nah. Then... Screw you then. Reject your biggest fan? I just, I just got a... <laughs> an achievement that said I rejected my biggest fan? Totally lacks colors I like. Well, too bad, Maggie. Too bad. So sad. Alright, let's do a polar bear. Okay, let's do a polar bear with the lavender background. 
The artist seems to know their crap. Why, thank you, Steve. Or should I say George R. R. Martin? You sly dog. Don't think I don't recognize you. More money? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, let's get to get to work on our next piece. This guy's got big old eyebrows. You gotta give the people what they want, or rather what I want, and I want bears. Lavender is the background AI, is it? No, I don't think so. This was made before, like, not before AI art, but like before AI art became like really big. This is kind of an old game. There's already a, a past part to two. Let's do a little crown. Fill in this empty space here. Let's get some some line work in there. I did. I noticed uh, when I was looking for royalty-free music to play during my streams, um, there was one playlist that was called "Lo-Fi for Bears," and I was super into it. I was really excited, but I found out for one, um, the the person in the description didn't allow permission for people to play during their streams, which is fine. And then I looked closely at the actual like art in the "Lo-Fi for Bears" thing, and it was totally AI. You, you just have to look at things like the leaves and stuff, and it was just, ah, uh, gosh darn it. Okay, let's see how this does. Do the people like lavender? King polar bear. No, wait. Climate change will kill him. An unfortunate truth. All right, next one. Uh, anyone got any requests? Bill's inbound already. Ugh. I hope they do. Oh no, <laughs> I want more radical colors. Too bad, Maggie. Too bad. In fact, just because you said that, darker. Darker. No radical. Très bien, très, très bien, however French sounds. 80? That's not even enough for my bills, yo. Go away. Okay, okay. Uh... Oh, let me pause. I got some sick matcha from Beans the Bear. Oh, and George, George, <laughs> George, George R. R. Martin himself. Yes. Thank you, George. All right, let's do let's do a sloth bear. Let's do a sloth bear. And then in the meantime, while I draw this sloth bear, feel free to uh, give me some requests. Otherwise, I do have an idea. If I don't get any requests, at all, I do have ideas. Uh, one idea is to just go through the art history timeline and just try to draw in like. The style of every major art historical movement, like Baroque or Ancient Egyptian. But I'm also down for requests, so... Lavender's the best! Yeah! <laughs> okay, check it. Oh no. What, what a radical idea are you gonna be telling me? The French bear, he has a beret and a baguette. You know what? I think that's going to make Benjamin, the French-looking guy, very happy. So I'd be down to do that. In fact, maybe we could do that with this one right now. Let me just reduce. There we go. Give him a little beret. Actually, I need the stem to be another color. Scientists discover alien spaceship. Turns out to be teapot. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
let's do maybe not white. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna uh, copy the guy that's walking around here. Let's do a little bit of yellow. He has that striped shirt. I just gotta jack his style. And I'm on the way to Money Town. I like how he has a backpack for his baguettes, like a French bread samurai. I mean, you just gotta, right? Like, is that not, is that not how French people just live? You just gotta. Okay, it should be like a dress, actually. And then get some baguettes in there. There we go. All you gotta do is just jack his style. That's all you really need to do to be a good artist, is to just copy the French. There we go. Um, let's see. Water props with blood. That's part of the French anthem, by the way. I didn't just make that up. Okay, next one. It's a French thing. We wouldn't understand. We really wouldn't. Skillfully made. Thank you, George R. R. Martin. Should I? Yeah, alright, 200. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I got a new tool! I got a spray can. Let's do it. Um, no, you know what? Let me go with that idea I had. Let's, let's do ancient Egypt style. By the way, one of my favorite things about this game, oh, my favorite like little detail, is um, as I'm painting, look at my character here like in the corner. Like, he's actually mirroring my movements, so if I do, like, if I do that, he's actually move. He's actually schmoovin'. Okay, how do we do an Egyptian bear? Let's do this. Should be side profile, head. The head should be side profile. But the, the, like, the snout also side profile. But the eye is, like, frontal. But the body is also frontal. And yet the arms are a weird mix of the two. And then both legs are visible, and they're both pointing straight forward. There we go. We got some Egypt things going here. And the reasoning behind this, by the way, it's not that the ancient Egyptians didn't just didn't know how to draw. It's that they wanted, um, at least for this particular art style, they wanted uh, their imagery their symbolism to come first. And the best way to do that is through playing around and breaking some of the, the art realism rules. There we go, we got our Egyptian bear. Should probably have a crown as well. Oh, too big. La Mars Marseillaise was the, the French hymn. Oh, cool. That, uh, thanks for letting me know, Capitan Hopper. Very cool to know. 
And I'm sorry if you tuned in while I was making <laughs> making jabs at uh, making some jokes about French folks. I don't have anything personal against them. That's just kind of the meme. <laughs> Back when I was into that one anime, Italia, <laughs> crown with a golden snake would look good. Okay, cool. Back when I was into that, I remember France was actually one of my favorites and I used to be one of those people that was like, well, actually, you know that reputation that the French are like cowardly and stuff? Actually, they won the most wars. Even though I don't know if that's actually true. Like, I read something about it, but... But it's also very possible that that number is contested. Let's put the little golden snake. The Uraeus. And let's also do the double crown. <laughs> I'm actually liking how this is turning out, but the question is, will the people like it? <laughs> will, will George R. R. Martin and uh, Mr. Baguette over here, will they like it? Because, you know, girls gotta eat. <laughs> I mean, this artist, whatever their gender is, gotta eat. There you go, let's see if they like it. Title for this. Deliver us to the promised land. Alright, next up, let's go Greek. So bland. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you don't respect Egypt. You know who else didn't respect Egypt? The colonizers. The sons of guns. <laughs> what should I do for Egypt? Uh, I hate just leaving like white canvas. So let's do this color again. Fresh like a morning baguette. Ah, he's not offering a lot though. Okay, okay, I'll give you this one, Benjamin. I'll give you this one. Okay. Should I go Greek or should I do another art style? I'm trying to remember here. You know what? It would be it'd be like this. It'd be like Let me try to carve out a shape out of this lump of rock so that it kinda imitates like sculpture. Bill's inbound. If some one way something against friends makes a joke about it, it's not a problem. But if the person is a German, then I guess... No offense, I'm German just for the info. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I w I'm very curious about is just like, what are the... I know how everyone feels about Americans and I know how Americans feel about other places. But it's... it's how do the Germans and French feel about each other? <laughs> Alright, so 80. 80 was taken out. I actually don't know what I just did right now. I, I was trying to go for like Greek, but let's do... Nah, you know what? I got another idea. Alternate idea. Let's put that one to the, the scrapyard. Back to the drawing board. Flip it and reverse it. Let's do a little bit of this color. Let's see if, how much this, how much time this takes. But you, you guys will see. You guys will see what I'm going for here. This color, there we go. No, 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 no. This color. Oh, I accidentally pressed something on my my tablet pen.
I'm totally using a reference, by the way. The brush size in this. This is like the minimum amount of brush size. Like, this is a little too small. Let's see what this... Nah, that's... Eh. We'll work with it. We work with what we got. The Eiffel Tower is a secret mind control device according to conspiracy theorists. Oh no. <laughs> Mostly by some Germans, France is kind of avoided, and if not, it just goes about jokes like how fast they surrender and the most used word is the white flag. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, that's definitely a stereotype here in America, too, is that, like, oh, they're the, uh, what is it? The cheese-eating surrender monkeys. And, like, that's the stereotype, right, that they always surrender and whatnot. But there was, like, uh, I remember when I was, like, really, really deep into, like, studying, you know, European history and stuff. There was a statistic that said that they they actually like um, won the majority of their wars, but that was back in high school when I looked that up. <laughs> so it's very much possible that like you know what exactly constitutes as a one war or one, you know like, what well, what's the asterisk? What's the asterisk with with that statistic, right? She's in surrender. Yeah, that's that's definitely yeah, that's definitely the stereotype. Which you know, I feel like there's complexity in like different kinds of things. Like, sorry, that's a very generalized <laughs> phrase that I just said, but you know what I mean. Like, um, not to not to just um, I guess lesson. French history and culture into like, oh, they surrender a lot, but also not to necessarily say like, oh, actually all that is wrong. They're actually paragons of morals and they, they win the most wars and blah, blah, blah. There's complexity in all of it, is what I'm saying. All right, let me look at my, there you go. Let's do some, some of that, some of this. Let's see if we got some fans of this style. Either in the chat <laughs> or in game. Let's see if George R. R. Martin is going to have some lip for me. Or Maggie. See, I just heard one of them sigh. I already. I can already hear the complaints. Unimaginative. Pedantic. Derivative. And the British are tea drinkers. Yeah, well, that is less of a stereotype and more of like, yeah, that's definitely like a cultural thing that they do. I'm sure not all British people drink tea and not all of them like it, but that's definitely like, you know, tea time is definitely a thing in there. <gasps> Bills and Mount. Okay, I'm posting this. I'm posting this. Uh, I actually like Van Gogh, by the way, which was the inspiration for this. So, so I won't give it such a depressing title. Starry Bear. Alright, next one. Eighty bucks. Okay, let's see. What else? What other style can I rip off? Oh, I clicked away. That might have uh, caused the sound to go away for a second. There we go. Let's do portraiture. We'll just do a nice little portrait. Provoking and shocking. I freaking love it. Well, about time. About, mm, 142? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, part of me was like, I wonder if they, like, there's some kind of AI, right, that each of the little characters has that determines what kind of art they like. So is it like, she only likes, you know, bold, bold and brash. Bold and brash colors. All 
Alright, I'm trying something. I'm trying something. There we go. Let's do... Another purple bear. Now, you know what? Feels like people do not like purple. So let's... Alright, so the style I'm going for now is romantic art. It's just a portrait. You know, like those portraits that kings and queens in Europe used to do? That. That is what I'm going for this time. Sea level's rising. Everyone is surprised. It's a damn lie. <laughs> it's a damn lie and you know it. No one was surprised. Deeper red. No. Nah, same red. So I'm specifically copying like a, a portrait in just this website that gave me like all of the, <laughs> um, I guess, art movements in European history. Too big. But it's supposed to be romantic. Give it a cigar. Yeah, you got it. I will give it a cigar. German stereotype is that they drink too much beer, mostly in Bavaria. See, that's something I'm also interested in. Like, there has to be stereotypes within the different, like, um, parts of the country, right? Like, like here in the U.S., it's like the New York... <laughs> I'm just gonna be saying, like, accents, but, you know, like, the I'm walking over here, like, that kind of thing. Romantic picture of the, the bow from the bow from the Titanic. Yeah, I think I want to say that the Titanic... I'm losing track of my dates. I'm losing my, my history major card. I'm trying to remember like the century that it happened. <laughs> there you go. Ah, okay, so early 20th century. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's the one thing... That, like, I love studying history, but the thing that I'm almost always forgetful with is dates. The only exception is, like, certain parts of, like, major parts of Filipino culture, just because I, like, wrote several papers of research about it, but... Uh, but for the most part, I'm pretty bad with dates. So thank you. So early 20th century... Wah. Dang. Over a hundred years ago. They wear sandals with socks. Wait, who does? <laughs> the people of that era or the people walking around? <laughs> Bills inbound. Slow down there. Slow down. I'm still I'm still making this guy. I'm days from it. I feel you there. I really was thinking about taking a big nap before I started streaming today. But I decided against it because I feel like I knew I would have overslept. <laughs> there we go. He's got that haunted look in his eye. As one does. Paddington vibes? Have you all seen that there's a Twitter... Um, that just, it's a guy that just photoshops Paddington Bear into, <laughs> into different movies. Like, it doesn't matter if it's horror, it doesn't matter if it's, like, romance or, like, something just really messed up. He will photoshop Paddington into there. <laughs> yeah, I love that it's all real. It is all real. Paddington really is, like, in all those movies. No, it's a cigar. You asked for a cigar. That's gonna look like a blunt if I... <laughs> I 
If I just did it like white and skinny like that, it would have looked like a blunt. And I don't know if this also quite looks like a cigar. I'm trying my darndest, but... <laughs> All right, once I do the whites of his eyes, I think. Uh, I don't have like great control with this. <laughs> he looks so sad, what have I done? Poor guy. Oh, he's so sad, he's so upset. You know what, F it, I don't wanna use black outlines, but I'm using black outlines. The piece needs it. <laughs> what have I made? <laughs> so romantic. All right, you know what? I need to make I need to make something really really quick. I want to move on to the next stage. So, pop art. Colors too crazy. Colors too crazy. The black, yellow and red is too crazy. Okay, let's do I got it. Okay, pop art. I guess from the to the night she did things sadly true with most of the sandals and socks maybe they will go in the holidays. Ah, those look like coordinates. Trying to be some sort of minimal- No, that took me a long time! That took me such a long time. Y'all are haters. Uh -huh. Ha ha, <laughs> reaching out. I can't pronounce it properly, but thank you, Benjamin. <laughs> the hipsters are having a meeting to discuss your rising popularity. Oh man, am I gonna be cool with the hipsters? You know what, I realize these are Ikea colors, or Swedish flag colors. Uh, let's see, if I do pop art, what am I going for? Yeah, let's do yellow on top. Blue for the eyes. A little bit of red for the for this part. And then the pop art also has some very uh, striking shadows. There you go. An attempt is being made. It's an attempt. Okay, another one, another another one. Skillfully made. Can you give me some more? Yes. Okay, let's do let's do that same one. I know it's like not the most creative thing, but let's let's do the same one but with different colors. That was actually kind of fun. <laughs> and when it is summer, it's also kind of like often in Germany, but I think it's more of an older people thing. Oh, is it the sa sandals with socks things? Sandals with socks. Hey man, I'm I'm part of the uh, the camp where whatever makes you comfortable. Whatever makes you comfortable. If sandals with socks makes you comfortable, then do it. Why not? Yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna be copying Andy Warhol's <laughs> style at this point. 
If you could even call, like, this a good imitation of it. Let's see. Gotta have those really big, really bold, brash and bold shading areas. There you go. This actually reminded me less of like Andy Warhol style and more of like some 90s stuff. Alright, well the people like this one. This Mickey Mouse looking thing. Because the younger don't do this, and me included, but yeah, if you feel better, then why not? Very true, yeah. Whatever makes you feel better, am I right? Crime rates rise as pastry prices skyrocket. Agreed. <laughs> I could see that. Alright, I have a new idea. Okay, George R. R. Martin. Okay, okay. Oh no, the pastry riots of 2020X. More money. Ah, oh, okay, 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 whatever, whatever. <laughs> Alright, next, uh, art movement. I'm gonna let y'all guess. Mm -hmm. That should be blue. Should be... This blue, this blue. Nah, take out the beard, take out the the attempt at a mustache. <laughs> Actually I like it without the mouth. Let's do that. Might be a tad sacrilegious, but you know, you know, I'm trying to go for a theme here. It is in utmost respect. The teddy from Mr. Bean as the picture came into my head after I saw the color of the bear. <laughs> the one from Mr. Bean. I'm honored. I'm honored. <laughs> I am going for a slightly different uh, style. But I'm honored that you think it resembles that. No, no, no. There you go. No! This color.
There we go. Okay, this is where we do the work now. Gotta have a halo. So I was trying to go for a kind of some renaissance uh, pseudo-medieval art. Especially like the Byzantine period where you see like uh, the... What's it called? The Byzantine iconography, the um, mosaics. There we go, the mosaics. So that is, in fact, Bear Jesus. John 3.16. I totally know what that means, by the way, John 3.16. Just don't ask me. Poor hundo! Let's do it! Let's go! <laughs> A new face in, art, uh, in the art scene has started to spread across the city. Is it me? Is for me? I, I clicked away to look at the, the style stuff. Okay, okay. Let's do some surrealism. Or at least let's try it out. Let's give it a stab. Let's give it the good old college try. Look at my character. Look at my character. Like in the on the right side. <laughs> Cover that up. Put a little bit of brown. Now nah, you know what? There we go. All right, uh, you all guess right away which uh, art piece I'm trying to imitate. Go ahead and say it in the chat. Oh, I should use the small brush more often. This feels kind of nice. The American landscape in 50 years. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean... I mean, do we even have to wait 50 years? <laughs> I think it's already here. <laughs> it's already here. Spray. Yeah, the small brush feels nice. <laughs> Sorry, Max the Mighty. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. It's already here. This is gonna be the, the dolly claw. Yeah! Yeah! Persistence of time. I'll just make it inspired rather than a direct copy. But yeah! There's like a weird amorphous blob thingy in the middle. Speaking of amorphous blobs, which is a great segue, I know. Uh, I saw this thing on Twitter. <laughs> where apparently sometimes cows, instead of giving birth to like a healthy fetus or a healthy baby cow, uh, sometimes they just give birth to a blob. Like a blob with um, like hair and not even like internal organs it's just it's just a blob of flesh it's your not so fun fact for the day or fun depending on uh how you see things <laughs> i did promise that everything i draw would be bears so uh da -da. There we go. Couple of bear ears. Keeping the promise. <laughs> I 
the amorphous bear blob. <laughs> With a blankie over him. He has a blankie. But I do also want a melting clock. The blob looks like a mouse. Yeah, it kind of does. It reminds me of like a... Uh, what was that one that was like kind of like for, for younger kids? I'll just draw it. Like the, the rat kind of looked like this. Or the mouse looked like this. Had little like whiskers. Not Ratatouille. In before Ratatouille. But anyway, back to the clock. This is also a bear. It's a melting bear. He's melting! Poor guy. Actually, this looks more like a like a dog, and he's not crying. He's supposed to just be melting. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the mouse up there, by the way, because <laughs> why not? In fact, add to it. Yeah, it's a, it's inspired by the clock painting, but with my limited. Art skills plus uh, brush options, plus the fact that I'm just drawing a mouse in the corner. It's not a one. To, it's definitely not a one to one. <laughs> Persistence of Tom and his marmalade and honey sandwich. Uh, I can't fit the whole thing in there, but thank you for the title, Capitan Hopper One Twelve. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, should we do abstract expressionism? Marmalade. <laughs> Shut up, Maggie! I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. You're the same person! You're literally the same person that just said that you disliked it. Like... You go on about how you guys are not conformists, and then you look exactly the same. I don't know what I'm doing. Um... <laughs> Should I do another Van Gogh? These punk rock posers don't know art. <laughs> See? George R. R. Martin does. Give me some more. Ah, oh, fine. Now you know what? I do have an idea. Someone important's planning to visit soon. Oh, no pressure. No pressure. The music just stopped. The music just stopped. No. Okay. I have an idea. Why not copy from one of the best artists in our recent history? Uh. Da -da -da -da. Sorry, I keep changing my mind, but. Let's speed through this. I hate that the music just stopped. <laughs> They're just like, someone important's coming. You don't need ambiance. No pressure. God, I can like hear their footsteps and everything. That sucks! Not the painting. The painting is going along swimmingly. Just the lack of music. Alright, let's use our palette knife and just carve down here. There aren't, there aren't any mistakes in the art process. There's only happy accidents. Oh, 
Oh, no worries, Capitan Hopper. I just couldn't, like, when you name things in this game, uh, there is definitely a character limit. So I wasn't making fun of your spelling or nothing. And I'm sure the other chatters weren't either. I think it was, it's just the... <laughs> I got what you meant. I got what you meant. This this has to look better, like, from a distance, right? Because <laughs> as it looks right now, it's just kind of like, what? Me when I'm, huh? And what? I, I hate that the music just went out. Okay, let's make a tree line. Let's put on some of the spray. A little bit bigger. Use some green. Have y'all figured out which artist I'm trying to emulate? Like, not memeing at all, but he legit is like one of my favorites, too. Not just for his paintings, but just who he is as a person. Uh, actually, I don't. That green is a little too intense. Terrain from Starbound. I've actually... I don't think I've ever played Starbound. What uh, what kind of game is it? What genre is it? I'm familiar with Starcraft. And... What was the one that just came out recently? Starfield. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten that I'm supposed to be drawing bears. I do want to fix a couple of things here, though. Let me just do that. Oh, too big. She really just walked by and sighed at me, okay. Just oh. Okay, Maggie. Okay, Synth. Yeah, now that you have like the ambiance noises, you also hear like ambulances and stuff. Like Terraria, but with many planets. Ooh. You know, I've actually never played Terraria either. Um, I've always wanted to. I have played Minecraft, and I know that Terraria is essentially, you know, like, that, but horizontal. And much more. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And I do like space stuff, you know? That is a genre that I'm very much into. I'd be down to check it out. I'm hoping this looks a lot better from a distance. Let's put some water reflections here. All right. So this was supposed to be my my attempt at copying Bob Ross, by the way, <laughs> or at least one of his landscapes. 
happy trees. Does this catch the attention of that? Oh, everything just froze. Not froze, but he's coming. Ah! <laughs> he's just gonna look at me like, looks like shit. I see. <laughs> okay, now the now the music. Now the music's back. Progress. Okay. Nice. The Revolution of Life. Happy Trees by Passpart 2. It was only recently that I heard of Passpart Go away, bro. Um, a quirky young artist with a passion for growth. As I walk down the crime stricken the crime stricken alley, okay. And yes, Benjamin, I will sell it to you, because you're a bro. As I walk down the crime-stricken alley, I embrace the air of possibility. I We decide that you're becoming too popular. Expect no more money from- You just bought my painting! You just bought my painting! <laughs> just... Oh, this, this painting's good. Too good. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I was struck with the craftsmanship. As I, approached the as I approached the piece, I almost stumbled in my excitement as I came closer and ushered in a sense of dread. Upon closer inspect- da -da -da. Upon closer inspection, the intriguing details of saffron contrasted by the profusion of navy blue reminded me of myself. The use of purple portrays the putrescent- I've never heard that word before. Passion and love humans have for each other. Typo. Typo in the group chat. All in all, Happy Trees is a good effort. Passport 2 has a lot of potential and I can certainly recommend my readers to visit Passport 2 in the future. The Critic. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and progress to the next area. Bills inbound. You just got here, but you got bills. Okay, okay, I have my own little studio next to the Eiffel Tower. I unlocked a new tool. Okay. All right, let's uh, get to creating. Oh, I got the pen tool. Does this, like, make it a little... Oh. Oh, okay, I guess it's, like... It, it's slower, but it's, like, more refined. Like, I can't do, like, sweeping strokes. But I can do something. Oh my god. It, it's a... Yeah, it's a little too slow. <laughs> All right, whatever. Ship it. And for minimalism. Yeah. Seems to be a few fields of color. Yeah, that's, that's what minimalism is. Uh, sorry, I forgot to read your last message, Capitan Hopper. And there's also instruments in the game and you have your own ship. Okay, I kind of like that idea a lot. Stuff with, like, space travel and stuff. I haven't played enough of those games, but, you know, I would like to. Most unoriginal I've ever seen. I'm sorry, Mr. Richman, Mr. Dawn. Okay. I have an idea. Oh, it's a little, it's a little too vibrant, actually. You know, let's go back to Lavender. At least make something original. Damn, people do not like minimalism in this, like, at all. I'm very much disliked in the, the popular art community. In-game, in-game, in Minecraft, not IRL. <laughs> What the hell is ROI? This would have the worst ROI. Music is kind of nice though. Doesn't seem original to me. Bells inbound.
All right. Next idea. It's just a little bear. He's just sitting, sitting on this little mountain top. I think at this point, though, I'm pretty down for any other requests that people have any for uh, the best drawing that I can do with uh, with the limited amount of tools. It does have to be bear related, though, so keep that in mind. But otherwise, the sky's the limit. Whatever y'all want to uh, request, I'll give it the good old college try. This is one way to do art. I thought that wasn't even like a burn, really. It's just a statement. It. Plus, if like the tons of mods, plus a standard story in the game, it's kind of long if you don't want to overtake it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so it seems like there's a lot of kind of options going on with the uh, with this game with Starbound. So I'm I'm gonna check it out. All right, people clearly hate this one, so I'm taking that one down. No. Painted by a dilettante. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I kind of might want to do another Egyptian style one. You know what I mean? I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Skillful craft. Thank you, George. Wee wee. Oui, oui. I'm like a child. Wee wee. Yeah, we're gonna go for a little bit, a uh, bit more Egyptian art again. This time, I'll be basing it off of the death mask of King Tut. Gotta have the big ol' eyes. <laughs> that, that eyeliner gotta be thick.
Ooh, my, uh, my drawing hand is starting to cramp up just a little bit. So maybe... Maybe I'll do just a couple more, and then maybe I'll call it there, but... I am enjoying this, though. It's a little change of pace from my usual drawing streams. Like, it's still drawing, but... Now there's some gameplay aspects to it. Actually, yeah, if there's any, like, um... Any other art games that y'all would want to see me play, just let me know. <laughs> you like the Egyptian theme bears? Maybe that's something I could look into drawing a little bit more. Because that's another, uh, not specialty, but another little interest area. I'm big fan of bear history. Oh, man. There was this one time I was talking with Beans the Bear about, like, um, you know, if there was, like, a bear college, like, what would their majors be? And I just remember, because mine in college was art history, and, like, to, if you verify it, I feel like it would be cave art history. But I forgot what the other ones were. We, we had, like, a couple. <laughs> yeah, I also forgot. It would be, like, you just have to think about, like, what are, like, actual college majors, you know, like... Anthropology? Would it be, like, ursology? You know? Instead of women's studies, would it be, um, I think the a female bear is called a sow? Sow studies? Cub development was one of them. Instead of child development, cub development. What do y'all think? If uh, if there was like a bear university, what, what would some of the majors be? I actually like this one a lot. <laughs> the great bear com bear bear Tutankhamun bear common. I got a screenshot. Well, I'm recording. I'm recording, so I'll just look back at the recording. <laughs> it's a part of a proud history. It really is. Bear Ankh Amen. There we go. If the people don't like it, I'm gonna cry <laughs> in Minecraft. Oh, okay, okay. Can always count on you, George. A little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, cool. He likes it, he likes it. He likes it, he likes it, he likes it. Okay, uh, what else? Should I do another Egyptian theme one? Should I break? 
Should I break the, the trend and just do some Egyptian gods? Because that's another thing I like doing. I'll show you all my, my favorite, my favorite Egyptian god. And this will probably be the only... The, oh my god, I made that eyebrow really <laughs> out there. Uh, this will be the only one that doesn't have a bear in it. Unless I just add little, like, ears here. <laughs> I made his proportions very off, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Your human is showing? Excuse me? Squeeze me? This- the one I'm drawing isn't even human. He's not even human. He's a crocodile. Squeeze me? I'm laughing because I am trying to draw um, one of my favorite Egyptian gods. His name is Sobek. He's a crocodile god. But it's also reminding me of... Um, there's apparently a very obscure Sanrio character who's just a crocodile. I think his name is uh, Big Challenges. Like, that. that's it. That's like... There's, there's not much else to the lore. It's just a crocodile named Big, Big Challenges. And it's like, is he the big challenge? Is he going through big challenges? The world may never know. I'd like to believe that big challenges helps you with the big challenges. Yeah, like this drawing? Are you saying this drawing is a big challenge? This is easy. This is an easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. No, it's hilarious. It's not a pickle! It's not a pickle! That's my guy so big! <laughs> it's so big. He's the god of the river and he's really strong. <laughs> Just start crying. Just start freaking crying. <laughs> he's my best buddy, and like he's also the patron god of working out and getting swole. Egyptian pickle, and his name is so big. <laughs> he's really strong. <laughs> he's gonna find out you're talking shit, and he's gonna punish you. He's gonna put alligators in your soup. I'm gonna put animal crackers in your soup. Monkeys and rabbits loop to loop. He's so angry, he's not angry. He's just got really good eyeliner. <laughs> Alright, I think I think after this one I might call it because my hand is starting to hurt just a teensy weensy bit. Don't wanna overdo it. I think I'm just not used to using this, uh, I'm using a tablet right now. I'm usually used to drawing on my, my iPad. <laughs> he does look kind of derpy though. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit more used to drawing on my iPad, so my hand is starting to hurt a little, so I might call it very soon, but... I just wanted to show you all my buddy. This is Sobek. He is the patron god of rivers and crocodiles and working out and getting swole and he's really strong. Oh my god, look at her face. Did you see that? Did you see Did you just see her face? Really strong. 
All right, before anyone has a chance to shit, wait. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought everything froze for a second, but okay, Giorgio. Uh, okay, how do I exit out of this? Uh, exit? Okay. Okay, let's go to the end screen. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Uh, this was really fun. I would like to, to participate in more gaming. Uh, for the foreseeable future, I'm still just going to be doing art streams. I do want to stay consistent with that. But uh, if there's any like art-oriented games that y'all know of and uh, can recommend to me, go ahead and recommend it to me. Uh, once again, I'm on here on Twitch, but I'm also on YouTube with... I haven't uploaded the VODs. I should upload the VODs. Um, but I'm also on Twitter under the same name, Vibinka Bear. Um, but thanks again to everyone that joined in chat, people who were just lurking and people watching the VOD. Uh, it really, really means a lot. So uh, thanks, everyone, and have a good rest of your day. And I'll see ya when I see ya. Bye! -bye.